Hi my friends, it's Miss Val here. Today I have a super fun activity planned for us um, and it's a beautiful day outside so it's the perfect day to do an activity like this. Today we're going to talk about spring. We're going to read a book called When Spring Comes that's going to teach us a little bit about what we see and what we feel and hear during springtime and then we're going to take a nature walk and collect some flowers to make a springtime sensory bottle. So I'm really excited to share this with you. Um, all right, let's get started. Before spring comes, the trees look like black sticks against the sky. But if you wait, spring will bring leaves and blossoms. If you wait, spring will make the leftover mounds of snow smaller and smaller and smaller until suddenly they're gone. Before spring comes, the grass is brown, but if you wait, spring will turn it green and add little flowers, just like the flowers we're gonna be looking for today. If you wait, an egg will become a bird. A seed will start growing. Spring comes with sun and it comes with rain and more rain and more rain. Do you like mud? Do you like puddles? I hope you like umbrellas. Before spring comes, the garden is just dirt and empty. But if you wait, spring will push green shoots through the dirt to fill up the garden. And spring will call out the pussy willows and the new kittens too. Spring can come quickly or slowly. It changes its mind a lot. But when spring is finally here to stay, you will know it. There will be buds and bees and boots and bubbles. Here I see buds and I see bees and I see boots and bubbles. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> there will be worms and wings and wind and wheels. Let's see. Here are the worms, here are the wings, and here's the wind, whoosh, and there are the wheels, way back there. You will feel it, you will smell it, you will hear it. When spring is finally here to stay, you might think you are done waiting, but you are not. Now you have to wait for summer. The end. Okay, my friends, so now that we've read our story, we're gonna go ahead outside and take a walk around the block to see if we can find any wildflowers for our sensory bottle. Okay, my friends, so right now I'm right outside of my house and I have a basket with me. And we're just gonna go take a walk and see if we can find any flowers growing along the sidewalk here. Now, we don't want to go into anyone's yards or gardens to pick flowers, but as you can see, there's lots of flowers growing right along this path right here. So we're going to take a walk and we're going to see what we can find. Come on.
All right, my friends, so I'm back from my walk and I have my flowers with me. Now, in order to make this sensory bottle, you're only going to need three things. Your flowers, some water, and an empty water bottle. Now, if you want to get creative with it and you have these materials around your house, you can also include some glitter or pom-poms or any beads you might have. And I found these really cool sequins that um, have some springtime looking objects on them like flowers or bees. Um, they have little rainbows and umbrellas. So I'm gonna use those. And if you're using glitter, it can be really helpful to have glycerin to put into your water, to have mommy and daddy put in your water bottle, um, just to help the glitter settle, but you don't need it. So don't go out of the house if you don't have to. Um, but I'm gonna start with our water bottle. I'm gonna unscrew the cap. And the first thing I'm gonna do is add in our flowers. So I found some really cool flowers and I'm just gonna start by putting them in our bottle. All right, so that looks about done to me. The next thing I'm gonna add in are some really cool pom-poms. So I really like the green ones because green is my favorite color. Now I'm gonna add some sequins in. Next, I'm gonna pour just a little bit of glitter in. All right, so now for the fun part, I'm gonna add our water. I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top. Whoa. And now only if you have it, you can add a few drops of glycerin with your parents' help. Now this just helps to break the surface tension and it lets your glitter fall really nicely when you shake it up. So now I'm gonna add the cap. And shake it up. That looks really magical. All right, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and safe and you're washing your hands and listening to your mommies and daddies. And I will see you all back at school very, very soon. All right, Mwah. bye.